What's up everyone, Patrick here, welcome back. And in this video, what we're gonna do is discuss the difference between a primary and secondary market. So a primary and secondary market basically has to do with the debt and equity of a firm and how it is either being created, it's created in the primary market and then traded in the secondary. So the primary market is where securities, now when I say securities, I mean debt and equity are created, quote unquote. And to be a little bit more technical, this is basically when a firm first issues debt and stock to the public. Right, so it's that first time that that debt and stock gets created. So usually it's through an IPO. So that's the very first time that a company issues securities to the public, but then they could issue more securities in the future. And that's called a seasoned equity offering, an SEO. This is an initial public offering. This is called a seasoned equity offering. And then we're gonna go through this more so in a chapter called raising equity capital, but over here, because it's the first time that these securities are being created, over here in a primary market, there's more regulation. A government has to approve of the issue. So there has to be an approval of issue. And so things get a little bit more complex in a primary market versus a secondary one. And there's also underwriters involved. So underwriters usually being investment banks. So what happens, again, we're going to cover all of this in future chapters in more detail, but just in general, what happens is you have a company, they want to go get funding. And so they're going to issue debt or stock and then get that funding from the public. Well, there it's these underwriters here, they're like a middleman. So what happens is the underwriters go and sell these securities to the public, or let's call this here investors, right? And usually in a primary market, the ones who are buying these securities first, these investors, they're usually larger investors like banks or hedge funds, because the company is basically trying to get rid of all those securities that they created and get all of that funding. And so they wanna more so sell in volume, so they're selling to larger investors to get as much of it out there as possible. So that's what initially happens here. And again, we're gonna go through this in more detail in future chapters. And then in a secondary market, what happens is now, this is where those securities are exchanged between investors, bought and sold, or let's say uh, traded between investors. So over here, this is where smaller investors. So once they're created, and then that IPO goes through, that initial public offering goes through, those securities get listed on an exchange, and then smaller investors can buy and sell on the exchange. Right, so here, the company isn't necessarily involved anymore. So in the primary market is the company and then they sell to investors, usually larger investors. And then in the secondary market, it's between investors. Now. Companies can 
repurchase shares and usually they're done as open market repurchases. So the company can get involved again in the secondary market, but they're not issuing new securities. Whenever they're issuing new securities, it's in the primary market. In the secondary market though, they can repurchase shares. Um, and yeah, so over here, smaller investors, larger investors can buy and sell amongst each other. And so to maybe even simplify this with a more simple example, you can think about it as like, let's say Apple is selling an iPhone. So initially when Apple creates a new iPhone, they're selling it to customers. You could think of that as a primary market, Apple being the firm, customers being the investors when that new phone is created. And then after, as time goes on, the phones, used phones can be sold amongst customers in a secondary market. So it's kind of like that, thought I would throw that example out there. But yeah, so primary difference, main difference, primary market, it's where securities are created. And then in the secondary market, the securities, the already created securities are traded between investors.